we count the money. I got a bitch, she gon' kill for real. Talking about Clyde and Bunny. Go with the kid, copy. Got to pull up with a stick, stop it. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl KK Reese. Thank you guys so much for being here. So today's reading is going to be why are people attracted to you? If you see me looking down, it's because I wrote down the title and we ain't going to forget. We're going to get the title. <laughs> All right. So this could be friends, family, you know, whoever may be around you. Why are they attracted to you? Okay. Friends, lovers, whatever I said. Yeah. Got a bad habit of repeating myself. I don't even like people. I, 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 I don't like it. Anyway, so please make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spare, spare, guys. Why are people attracted to pal number one? Why are people attracted to pal number one? Okay. Why are people attracted to pal number one? Why are people attracted to pal number one? So we have number five, it says mountain obstacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have, I knew this one was going to come out. We have number 24, it says never give up um, phrases and motivation. So people are attracted to you because, um, and, okay, let's say this, all right? Whether this is going to resonate to you is not, it may not resonate to you. So you could look like a, a, you may look older than your age. Either you look older than your age or you look, you act more mature for your age. People are attracted to you because you are someone that seems like, you know, you've been there, done that type of situation. You are someone that has been left out by yourself or, you know, you had to handle things by yourself. You seem like a person that, you know, you just, you know what a struggle is. You get what I'm saying? You know what a struggle is. You know what tough times are. You know what good times are. You are someone that has been through, you know, that has had phases, phases obstacles, all these things that may have happened in your life and, I feel like you are also someone that's a good motivational speaker, you know, because you've been there and done that. So it's like you are speaking from experience. And I feel like that's why people are attracted to you because you speak from experience. You speak with your head held high. You speak with maturity. You speak with knowledge. You speak with, um, you, you, you speak in a sense that, you know, you experience these type of things, you know, like you, you've been, like I said, you've been there and done that. So let's get some tarot. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit guides. Why are people attracted to pal number one? Why are people attracted to pal number one? Why does my braid want to keep moving? Let's let's ask that question, okay? Why are people attracted to pal number one? Why are people attracted to pal number one? We have the ace of wands. Why are people attracted to pal number one? We have the Eight of Pentacles. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? We have the Two of Swords. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? We have the Knight of Wands. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? Okay, clearly that one went to come out. We have the Six of Cups in reverse. I'm going to take it as that. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? We have the King of Cups. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? We have the High Priestess. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? We have the World Card. You know the Naked Lady. Why are people attracted to Pound Number One? We have the Two of Cups. The overall energy for this reading is the Five of Pentacles. The bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands. And we also have the Ace of Swords. So like I was saying, this is all these cards clearly are a confirmation for what I was saying. But people are attracted to you because with the Ace of Wands being here, you are definitely someone that I, I heard right my wrongs. I feel like you are someone that always has a master plan. I feel like you are someone that's very creative, creative, very innovative. Um, you practice what you preach. You like you're not just saying things for no reason. I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles being here, you're very hardworking. You're also someone that's good with routines. So like if you are put in a it's a, um, a particular cycle, you don't mind doing those cycles repetitively until you get it right, or just doing it repetitive repetitively because you know what you are doing. You get what I mean? Like you are not someone that has a problem with your day-to-day -day being basically identical. You have no problem with that. 
people are attracted to you because you are someone that I feel like you like to learn people. You like to study people. You know what I'm saying? You like to the best of your ability. Like you like to get to know people in, in, in a sense like that. And also if it's not, um, if it's not people in per se, it's a job, it's a craft, it's a hobby, you know, you keep going until you get it correct. So yeah, <laughs> I feel like you definitely, like I said, a very hardworking individual, very um hard copacetic. I don't know why I heard that word, but that's the word I just heard in my head. Um, some of you may have really beautiful handwriting, take it as it resonates. Um, you may um write very well in cursive, um, particularly particularly. You know what I'm saying? Um, with the two of swords being here, I feel like you are someone that um you know the two of swords is about indecision, but I just feel like with you, I feel like you are really good with making decisions. Um, I feel like you're very good at guessing. So if you ever had two options, you usually most of the time, you know, because nobody's perfect, but most of the time you do pick the right decision for you. Um, and I feel like, like, even with the um, high priestess being here in the two of swords, I feel like you are definitely someone that's very, um, very intuitive. You get what I mean? That's why people are attracted to you. Very attractive as well. High priestess, most of the time, is very attractive person because, you know, that you leave a, a mystery. You are someone that is not easy to read. You know what I mean? In a, in, in a sense. Because, like I said, you could be a person that you've been through things or whatever the case is. You Some, some of you, I can't even say that. I, I can't even say that because when I was about to say it, it wasn't even going to come out right. So I'm going to scratch that. But um, with the Knight of Wands being here, I definitely do feel like, like I said, you are someone that's very creative. You are someone that you are very passionate and you have like a really good time creating things. You may have like a really, really business savvy. Or you're very artistic. You can be someone that draws very well. Or you could also be someone that has like um, your visuals in your mind is like, how can I say it? Some of you may have photo, um, photogenic memory, but I feel like a lot of you are very artistic in a sense. Um, I also hope for um, photogenic, so you may take really good pictures. That's for some that's not going to be for all of you. Or you may take people's pictures very well. Um, with the Six of Cups being in reverse, I feel like um, people are attracted to you because I want to say, because you know the Six of Cups is all about, you know, past, the past and soulmate and all that other stuff. But I feel like with the Six of Cups being in reverse, I feel like people are attracted to you because I feel like you don't let your past fuck up what you have currently right um i feel like you are also a person that you like to move forward you don't really like to look in the past like you probably don't take your exes back you probably don't um like if you and a friend you know you guys are not cool you're not whatever the case is i feel like you kind of move on from that i feel like you don't dwell in the past and i feel like that's why people are attracted to you so it's like if you have a conversation with somebody it's not like you don't have exes it's not like you never have friends it's not like you never have arguments it's just that that's not something that you like to continue to talk about or bring up you know so if somebody asks you like oh hey what happened to your ex you be like you know it just didn't work out you know what i'm saying it's not something that you really want to you know get to in you know what i'm saying but like i said you are definitely someone that's really good with speech talking and all that stuff because um like i said you've been there done that you may not say exactly what the scenario or situation may be but it's like you may you know you just how can i say it i hope it makes sense you give knowledge without giving too much of your information let's say like that with the king of cups being here so you could be a scorpio nope yep yeah okay scorpio cancer pisces um aries leo sagittarius um take it as it resonates i just heard what goes around comes back around with the um the world well, let's say the world cup i don't know if some of you watch sports or soccer particularly football particularly for some of you um but yeah i feel like people are attracted to you with the king of cups being here like i said very emotionally balanced you know what i'm saying like i feel like you don't get to invest in your feelings and emotions uh, it, it depends i feel like it takes a while for you to get invested in your feelings and emotions i feel like you are definitely with the five of pentacles you're a popular loner like you know what i mean like you prefer to be to yourself but people kind of just naturally gravitate towards you i want to say i feel like what you give to the world or universe excuse me it returns back to you excuse me um but again with the high priestess and the world card here definitely confirmation that you are a popular loner but you still attract people with your mystery with you taking staying to yourself you being in your own world you being in your own space being very distant you get what i'm saying with the two of cups being here and i feel like people are attracted to you because it's like they know that your love is genuine what you give or what they give is what they're going to receive back nine of wands we have the nine of wands the temperance card and we have the king of pentacles you're very focused on finances and money and things like that like i said very business savvy type of person i feel like you are always a person that figure out figure out ways to make money Okay, so you could be a hustler. I, I don't even want to say that, but some of you could be hustlers. It doesn't have to be that, but you could be a hustler. Um, yeah. Let's get some more information. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spare, spare guides. Why are people attracted to pal number one? Oh, 
Okay, so we have patience here. It says manifestations are on the way. Why are people attracted to pound of one? I'm going to just read the card instead of like reading the definition, if that makes sense. Why are people attracted to pound number one? And I keep hearing what goes around comes back around. I just feel like you treat people like how you want to be treated. I don't know if I said that because I keep hearing that. Why are people attracted to pound number one? We have Twin Flame, why are people attracted to Pound Number One? And we also have Energy Activation at the bottom of the deck. We have Past Life Connection. People, I, I feel like with the Six of Cups being here, I'm not saying you're not anybody's soulmate. Some of you may not even believe in soulmates and Twin Flames and those type of um, terminologies. That's going to be for some. Just because you watch tarot or people are interested in tarot, that doesn't mean that they are, um, they indulge in those type of, the, the terminologies and stuff like that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you watch this, you get offended like, oh, I'm watching tarot. That doesn't mean anything. You could believe in tarot and not believe in twin flames and soulmates and things like that. I'm just saying that's for those people. Um, but people are attracted to you because it's like a very strong connection when they meet you. With the Ace of Wands, I also want to say, like I said, you're very attractive, very sexy. So people kind of are very, um, I feel like, are sexually attracted to you as well. Okay? Um, with patient being here, patience, I feel like people are attracted to you because it's like, it takes a minute. Like I said, it takes a minute to really get close to you, to get to know you. Because you're very mysterious. You like to be to yourself. You do your own thing. You know, you're in your own world. You're in your own space. It's a very strong connection, Twin Flame. It's just like a very strong connection when it comes to meeting you. With energy activation, you make people do things that they don't. It's out the norm for them. You get me? Because you are so different. You know what I mean? Very attractive, like I said. But it's like this really the mystery thing is in the vulnerability that you have that really magnifies or, you know, connects people to you. Why are people attracted to pound number one? The card that just fell out was trust. People trust you. That's the first thing that people do. They trust you. And they, I feel like they feel comfortable talking to you about certain things. Why are people attracted to pound number one? We have willpower. Why are people attracted to pound number one? We also have home. Why are people attracted to pound number one? We also have justice. You're very fair. Love that. Trust is at the bottom of the deck. But you're very fair. You know what I mean? Like, you're very fair. I would say you give people second chances. Some of you do. Some of you don't. It's different for everyone. But I feel like you're very fair. So, it's like, it's up to the person how how you treat them. Let's say that. How you treat them. Um, Like I said, there's a sense of comfortability with you with the home being here. It seems like when sometimes people meet you, it feels like you have like this very comfortable, comfortable comforting energy about you that makes people feel very comfortable enough to like talk to you um yeah we have willpower uh, and then uh, with the high priestess and the ace of cups sorry with the ace of wands i kept seeing manifestation i feel like you're very you're uh, a major manifester what you say what you write and what you do it comes to you easily abundantly and things like that with willpower um you, like i said you don't have a problem with letting go of people because you know that the journey between you and that person may have ended um you know that the, the cycle has is done you know so it's like you have the willpower to move on you have the willpower to let it go you know release it so pound number one that's all i really have for you i really hope that these messages resonated i hope that you enjoyed this reading if you did let me know in the comment section i love you guys so much i will catch you guys in the next read peace babies Hello, my beautiful pal number twos. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, KK Reads. Thank you guys so much for being here. Today's reading is going to be how do people... Okay, that's not the reading. Why are people attracted to you? I hope that these messages resonate. You see me looking down because I wrote it down. So I won't make the mistakes that I just did in the beginning. Anyway, so pal number two, we're going to get right on into your reading. We're going to see why are people attracted to you. This could be lovers, friends, family, whatever the case is. Why are they attracted to you? So make these messages as clear as possible in the rest spirit, spirit, guys. Why are people attracted to pal number two? Okay, so we have number 36, power lines, energy, and new discards are going to come out at the bottom of the deck. We do have number 23. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, and I'm not even going to try, but it's abundance. Calvary, nope. That show, abundance. But the card that actually came out for you, number 36, power lines, 
uh, energy. I feel like people are attracted to you because because of your energy, because of your aura. You have very, um, I was about to say draining. Hmm. Interesting. Very draining energy. You know, I have this, I have this thing where I feel like when people want to outshine you, they kind of drain your energy. You get what I'm saying? People kind of attract to you because you have like a really bright light about you. I feel like you are someone that deserves to be in the limelight. I feel like you deserve to be seen and, and things like that. And I feel like some people are attracted to you because they try to um, drain your energy. Mm -hmm. They try to dim your light. That's another terminology as well. Um, but yeah, people are attracted to you because you could be very well connected. Um, you have an endless amount of energy. And I just, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when people are uh, attracted to you, it's because of, like I said, your energy, the abundance, and what you could be. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like people try to make you have low self-esteem. You may have had those type of problems before. Having people, you know, like I said, dim your light or make you feel not enough. You know what I'm saying? Some people may be attracted to you because they think you have low self-esteem. That's going to be for some. That's not going to be for all of you. You may not feel like you're beautiful enough. You may not feel like you know you may not have the, the appearance that you want. Um, you may not dress like how you want. There may be certain things, you know what I'm saying, that makes people. But we're going to get some more information. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit guides. Why are people attracted to pound number two? Why are people attracted to pound number two? Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit guides. Why are people attracted to pound number two? Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Ace of Swords. Why are people attracted to pound number two? You have Temperance. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Six of Cups. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Magician card. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Two of Swords. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Ten of Wands. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Two of Cups. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the Ace of Cups. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have the nine of cups. The, the overall energy for this reading is the king of pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, we do have the eight of swords. And we also have the hierophant. So I just want, I want to get into this part first before I, like, you know, read off the whole, the whole spread. It's interesting. Like I was saying before about the, you know, trying to take your energy or whatever the case is. And we have the two of cups and then we have the ace of cups right after it. So I just feel like people are attracted to you because it's like you love... You'll, you'll pour into other people, even if your cup is almost running dry or if it's like almost empty or whatever the case is. If that's not you, then clearly either this reading isn't for you or this part of the message is not for you. So moving on, I just feel like you are someone that you, you like to care. You like to cater to people and things like that. You like making people feel good. If somebody has a problem, you want to try to fix that problem. You are someone that, even if it's not that, maybe you are someone that struggles. You know what I'm saying? And people are jealous of that. And it's like, what the fuck? Um, with the Ace of Swords being here, you're very smart, you're very knowledgeable. People are attracted to you in that way as well because you're very smart, very knowledgeable. And I feel like you have a, like a very endless mind. So it's like you are someone that is, um, you know what I'm saying? Like you may be interested in makeup, dirt bikes. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's kind of weird like that, wrestling. You know, you are someone that is very very versatile that's the word i'm looking for you're very versatile that's why people are attracted to you because you can have a conversation about anything and it's nice to talk to people like that that is not biased that's not sitting here like oh well i don't watch that well well i don't do that and oh well that's fucking weird you're not the type of person we have tempers being here you are someone that's very temperamental i don't let me not say that you are someone that is very patient you're very calm you know what i'm saying i feel like you're very well balanced i feel like you are someone that is very much at peace with yourself um even with the ace of cups being here i feel like you're very at, very much at peace with yourself with the six of cups being here i feel like i don't know why I'm getting the sense of like this inner child about you. You someone is very fun, very goofy. You know what I'm saying? Very goofy is not a bad word, okay? I don't know what these kids is doing with this word goofy. Goofy is not a bad word. I'm goofy. I love to have fun. I love to laugh. I love to make other people laugh. Goofy and doofy. Now that you feel me? Doofy, that's the offensive one. Cause who the fuck you calling doofy? But <laughs> I definitely feel like you're a very um fun, witty kind of person. 
You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're very fun and witty. I feel like you, are, you make very great memories with people. Um, you make very great memories with people. So let's, yeah. With the magician card being here, I feel like people are attracted to you because definitely somebody that is, some people may see you as a little bit manipulative or someone that, you know, you get your way because of the way that you talk, the way that you do certain things. But in all reality, it's not that. It's just... If you know how to get certain things, you're going to get it. If you know, if you need to use the things around you to benefit you in some way, shape, or form, you will do that. Okay? You will do that. With the Two of Swords being here, I feel like it's crazy. If you watch pound number one and watch pound number two with the Two of Swords being here, yes, you could be someone that's very indecisive. Um, you could be someone that's very confused. Some of you could be bisexual as well. Um... Some of you could be bisexual. Some of you may not even like um, being in the, like in the limelight all the time. You know, I feel like I think attention in this pal. I don't know why. I just get a feeling that attention naturally just kind of comes towards you. You may not want it, but it comes. But with the two of swords being here, I feel like people are attracted to you because. You see? I'm hearing a particular song. A song I know a lot of people are not going to know. But if you ever, ever, if you ever heard of an artist called Cody Shane. She has a song called Hiatus. And it's like, she don't want to be with me, so we took a hiatus. I remember when you went up in Vegas, I will never. Ooh. I will never. Ooh. You are someone. <laughs> People are attracted to you with the two of swords being here. You are someone that you make up your mind, but I feel like you change it as fast as you made it. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. I think it's when things get a little bit too intense with the ten of wands being here. I feel like it's like when it gets a little bit too intense and people are so attracted to you. It's like, ooh, pile number two. Why are you running from me? <laughs> you know, it's like a cat and mouse kind of thing. You just like, I just need some damn space. Give me a minute. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you get what I mean? I feel like you're very lucky, very abundant as well with the nine of cups being here. Nine of cups, um, abundance. I feel like you are such a sweet person. And I love that. I think you're a very sweet individual, um, very caring, loving I think that you are all those things and I feel like you you get what you deserve. You know what I'm saying? Some of you with the magician being here, you could be someone that does um like I, I heard practical magic and I heard do you believe in magic? So you may do magic. So it's like you may do candle work, you could do um scripting, you could do I don't know, whatever you if you have a, a specific culture, you may indulge in all those things. Um King of Pentacles being here. Very, very, I feel like you're very set in your ways. Very comfortable, you know, very comfortable. And I feel like that's why people are attracted to you. You may make a lot of money, doesn't necessarily have to be, or you just very, you you could be good with money. Very smart, very calculated in a sense. Um, we have the Eight of Swords, we have the Sun card, and we also have the Her um, Hermit. Um, There are things that you want to say. I feel like you allow it to be bottled up, bottled up, and I feel like it's, that's easier for you. That's going to be for some, that's not going to be for all of you. Take that as it resonates. Um... And again, I'm getting a sense. I don't know why. Just looking at the pictures with the Eight of Swords, the Sun card, and the Hermit. I feel like you kind of... You dim your own light. I think you dim your own light by being like maybe a homebody in house a lot. Or you're not outside as much as you used to be. Like you don't enjoy the sun like how you used to enjoy the sun. Um, I think you stay away from people because you are a light. And you know that you are a light. And you know what you attract. So you try to keep to yourself. But let's see what else we have. Make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. Why are people attracted to pal number two? Why are people attracted to pal number two? And you know, also what I'm getting here with the Eight of Swords, I'm looking at that. I, I feel like you beat your own self up sometimes. Like, I feel like you are your own worst critic. But we have putting in the work. Some of you could be from New York City, specifically maybe Harlem, Manhattan, or maybe you visit those places or you have family out there. Because I'm hearing certain songs. Why are people attracted to pound number two? Um, some of you could also be from Florida, maybe Haitian. Why are people attracted to pound number two? We have Awakening. Why are people attracted to pile number two? We have Energy Activation at the bottom of the deck. We do have Apology. Um, with the Apology being at the bottom of the deck, I feel like people are sorry for how they treat you and how... they. I, I feel like people are sorry or they would like to apologize or whatever the case is. Um, they would want your forgiveness because... 
sometimes people say things and it can lead you to depression or a certain time of your life. You know what I mean? And yeah. I feel like people want to apologize for not seeing your worth. Weird. So we have putting in the work. Like I said, very hardworking individual. I feel like you're very calculated as well. With the awakening being here, I feel like people are attracted to you because um, awakening says um, realization shift or discovery. Like I said, with the Ace of Swords, I feel like you tell people like it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, if, especially if they ask you. Let's see what else we have. Why are people attracted to pal number two? We have courage. Why are people attracted to pal number two? Excuse me, why are people attracted to pal number two? We have trust. Why are people attracted to pal number two? And we also have animals. Courage has a lion. Um, we have psychic abilities at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may have, um, I don't know, I heard um, maybe in, Indian descendant, descendant, I don't know. Maybe you can have an altar, your spirit animal. You, you, I don't know. You may know what your, what your spirit animal is. I don't know what the fuck my spirit animal is. If there's a way to find out, let me know. But yeah animals could be attracted to you you could have a lot of animals a lot of pets or like i said these things could be attracted to you um why are people attracted to you because you are um, courage you have the strength to do and be who you want to be you know to say what you want to say people are attracted to you because you are trustworthy i feel like you give off that you know they trust that you're going to tell the truth they trust they you know they just trust your opinion we have animals again like i said you could and even, even with the dog here, some of you may have animals. You may have had animals from when you were younger, whether it's the same one or different ones. You may have had animals when you were younger, and animals naturally are just like attracted to you. So, pal number two, that's all I really have for you. This was a really good read. I hope that you enjoyed it because I know I did. Um, if you like what, if you enjoyed the reading, let me know in the comment section. I love you guys. I will catch you guys in the next read. Peace, babies. Hello, my beautiful pal number threes. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl KK Reads. Today's reading is gonna be. Why are people attracted to you? This is family, friends, animals, whatever. Why are they attracted to you? We're going to find out. All right. So make these messages as clear as possible. Universe, spirit, spirit, guys. Why are people attracted? I say animals. I'm talking about people's. I'm tripping. Um, anyway. Why are people attracted to pound number three? So we have number 40. We have bullseye focus. And at the bottom of the deck, we have number 32, Traffic Cone Caution. You're very attractive. Um, people are attracted to you because a lot of people are attracted to you. A lot of people want your attention. A lot of people want to talk to you. Some of you may even have have, have had, you are so attracted to the point. It sounds very cliche, but you can be so attracted to the point that somebody could have been driving, paying attention to you, bumped into something. Um, somebody may have, you may even have had a, a accident with somebody because this person was just simply trying to get your attention. You get what I'm saying? I don't know. There's something people are attracted to you because it's like, Tunnel vision, like I have to get pound number three. Pound number three is amazing. Pound number three is cool. Pound number three is wow. You get what I'm saying? Um, you could be very focused as well. You could be someone that's very determined. You could be someone very career driven. You um, people are attracted to you because you could be very um, I heard courteous, but you could be very cautious about how you do certain things. You get what I mean? Um, when you are focused on something, something, someone, whatever, you are focused on that particular thing. Nothing really distracts you from what you are going towards. I heard goal. Goal orientated traffic. Something about traffic. Something about traffic. I don't know if any of you ever worked um doing something in traffic. This could be a you could be a flagger. Um the street cross street thing. I heard conductor. I don't know. But let's see what we have. Make these messages as clear as possible in the very spirit spirit guides. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the Ten of Wands. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the Knight of Pentacles. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the Wheel of Fortune, again, with the bullseye circle. Okay. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the Nine of Cups. I'm sorry, my shirt is rolling up. Oh, well. Mm. Okay. 
Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the eight of swords in reverse. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the hang one. Why are people on um, what? Why are people <laughs> attracted to pound number three? We have the ace of wands. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the six of swords. Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have the four of pentacles. Overall energy for this reading, we do have the judgment. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of swords. We have the death card. Ooh. <laughs> we have the queen of swords, queen of pentacles, and then we have the seven of wands. People are attracted to you because you got shit to do. You got shit to do. Like I said, you can be very goal-orientated, very attractive. You look good. You keep yourself together. You may wear a lot of name brand, take it as it resonates, or you just look like money, smell like money. Um, So meaning that maybe you wear expensive perfumes or something like that, or the perfumes that you wear, it stick on you, it stays on you. Um, People are attracted to you with the Ten of Wands being here. I feel like <laughs> you are someone that you will struggle to get to where you want to be at. You get what I'm saying? Like, you understand, you know, that these are the struggles that you're going through. You're going through these things because it's going to um be something that's very beneficial, beneficial, in the future um people are attracted to you because with the will of fortune being here currently right now at the current point in time no matter what you are doing you are on the right track you are on the right path and um people see how like i said determined you are and how you are trying to be someone that is very successful make trying to make a lot of money maybe making money really, um, slowly it doesn't have to be like that or you are someone that's very loyal like i said you're very loyal very dedicated to what you are doing that's going to eventually make you money or is making you money take that as it resonates as well um, but the Nine of Cups being here, I feel like you are someone that is, I heard, emotionally fulfilled. That that would be the Ten of Cups, but I got it with the Nine of Cups. You are emotionally fulfilled with self. Um, I feel like, because the, we have the Nine of, of Nine of Cups. I said the Nine of Wands early, I think. But the Nine of Cups being here is about fulfillment, wish fulfillment, and feeling good like that, and things like that. And I feel like with the, the one cup missing, which would be the Ace of Cups, I'm not saying that you are neglecting yourself in any way, shape, or form, but I feel like you definitely have your cup kind of, you know, put up somewhere so nobody can really touch it, really bother it. I feel like your cup is overflowing with love. I feel like you love yourself a lot. I feel like you love yourself so much. That's why we don't have the Two of Cups or the, the Ace of Cups out here. With the Eight of Swords being here, I feel like um, people are attracted to you because you are someone, you speak your mind. Yeah, I can't really remember what I was saying, but... I just feel like with the Ace of Swords being in reverse, I feel like people are attracted to you, attracted to you because you don't let intrusive thoughts get the best of you, you know? Um, we are all our own toughest critics, so I just feel like you don't allow yourself to be stuck. You don't allow yourself to be stagnant. You you motivate yourself to keep going, you know, to see the brighter side of things with the hangman, hang one being here. You know, you look at things from a different perspective. You may look at things like at some point in time, like, okay, everything is going right, 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 right. Then when things go left, you're just like, oh, shit. I've never seen this before. You get what I'm saying? It doesn't that something going left doesn't necessarily have to mean that it's fucking you know darkness and badness. Or I feel like that's the type of person that you are, and I feel like that's why people are attracted to you because even when something goes left, you know when things are continuously going right, you still find you know the the good in things going left. You get what I'm saying? Like you is maybe a different perspective, maybe something that you never experienced before, maybe something that you never seen before, but you still try to make the best out of that situation. Um, you always end with the Ace of Wands being here. You know you may you. You, you fix it up. You dazzle it up with the Ace of Wands being here. You get what I mean? Like, I feel like you were very, um, I feel like you just, I just feel like you're very motivational. We have judgment being here as the overall energy for this reading. I feel like people are, are attracted to you because I feel like you make real good, real good judgment calls when it comes to people in particular. And I know, and I also know that with the Six of Swords being here, your misery does not love company. So when you are having intrusive thoughts and when things are getting a little bit hectic or whatever the case is, you kind of distance yourself from people until you are ready to come back, you know? And with the four of pentacles being here, you're really good at saving money. You're really good at saving and you are good at saving time and money and energy and things like that. Even when it's uncomfortable, you still hold your composure. I'm getting that as well. Because y'all heard me say the queen of the queen of swords, the queen of pentacles, you are always in your feminine energy. Like you you don't want to live a hard life. You don't want to be, you know, masculine. That's not no. Excuse me. That's why people are attracted to you. I feel like once you start to feel a little bit when you start to feel like you have to go in your survival mode, once you start to feel like you are, you know, taking on more you can hand more than you can handle, you just like, eh, this is not for me. You get what I mean? Like I'm trying to live a soft forever. <laughs> I'm trying to live a soft life. You get what I mean? I'm trying to live and have like less stress. You get what I mean? Like I just feel like that's why people are attracted to you because you don't make your life any harder than it has to be. If it doesn't have to be hard, you don't have to argue, you don't have to yell, you're not doing it. You get me? So if you have to be cold, you have to be detached. 
you're not allowing anybody to keep you stagnant. That's why we have the eight of swords here. You're not allowing anybody or anything to keep you stagnant, whether this is your thought, your mind, people around you, you're you, you not doing it. Why are people attracted to power number three? You have divine timing, will of fortune, confirmation. Why are people attracted to power number three? Okay. I'm going to take these and I'm also get another card. Why are people attracted to power number three? We have sacrifice. Can't, I can't make this shit up. Okay? And we also have a new opportunity. You can't even see it. New opportunity. So, power number three. Divine timing. Everything happens for a reason. I feel like that's why people are attracted to you. Everything happens for a re reason. Meeting you happened for a reason. Things going right, then going left happen for a reason. Um, like I said, you've got the brighter side of things. Uh, you are just someone, you are blessing in people's lives, whether it's um, full term or, t or short term. You know, people are happy that they um, met you or got a chance to meet you with denial and pay attention. That's another thing, too. That's why people are attracted to you. The Eight of Swords, I'm trying to tell you, you, won't, you will not allow intrusive thoughts to get to get you or make you stagnant. So it's like you don't allow yourself to be in denial. And once you start to see that you are in denial, or you start to see like, okay, you know, um, you feel like a failure or you're not accepting things for what it is. You start, you pay attention to that. You analyze it. And you just like, you try to, you know, we have the sacrifice here. <laughs> You get what I mean? You look at things from a different perspective. It's like, what do I have to let go of? What do I have to move away from? Because you know you are loyal. You know you are someone that is real. You know you're honest. You are someone like once you are at a place, you you plant roots. You start to, you try to grow in that place. You get what I mean? You try to make things around you grow, you know, flourish and things like that. Um, Interesting. Why are people attracted to pound number three? Why are people attracted to pound number three? We have spirit guide. Why are people attracted to pound number three? Financial health. Why are people attracted to pound number three? And we also have family at the bottom of the deck. We do have peace. Um, financial health is not necessarily a bad thing because when I I know when I say financial health, I had a feeling that somebody was like, "Oh, so they trying to use me?" No, I feel like you are someone that's very. You could be either business savvy or you are someone that's really good at saving money or you are someone that's good at buying, a, like, saving money. Like, you're not a, you're very frugal. You're not someone that is very, like, flashy. Like I said before, I think I said that earlier, you look and you smell like money. Just because you look like money don't mean that you have the most money in the whole entire world. Like, you may get your whole wardrobe from Shein. You may get your whole wardrobe from Timu. You get what I'm saying? But it looks good on you. Um... You may wear cheap clothes, but expensive perfume. You get what I'm saying? Cheap clothes, but expensive sneakers. Cheap clothes, but an expensive bag or a uh, cheap bag, expensive top. You get what I'm saying? Like, you make it make sense. <laughs> let's let's say that. You make it make sense. Um, definitely family orientated. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when you plant your seed somewhere, like, you are planting it for it to grow, for it to flourish, or it to expand. You're not doing things for no reason. And when you create bonds, you create forever bonds, you know? And when the short-term things happen, you know, it's like, it is what it is. I hope I make it sense. And I hope that these messages resonated for you. Cause that's all I really have for you. Pound number three. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love y'all. Peace out babies. <laughs> Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Make sure that you comment down below. Later there. Wait guys, I can't talk. <laughs>